Hello, teacher. Hello, welcome. Welcome. Thank you. Hello, Karen. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, Karen. Welcome. Welcome, Karen. And welcome, Felipe. Welcome to Hello, the class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. It's a pleasure. Well, you have the camera closed, right? No, no lo veo, pero sí lo escucho, Felipe. <laughs> okay. Okay, so, okay, welcome, welcome. And Karen, hello, Karen. Welcome, Karen. No, she's not ready. Well, later, right? Now, let's begin with the class. Uh, we are going to review the class of yesterday. And this is the one, I guess. Okay. Listen to the conversation here, right? Hello everyone. In the conversation we're about to hear, two verbs very close in meaning will be used. Once you listen to the conversation, practice it as many times as possible. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Ms. Graham, please? I'm sorry, she's not in. Can I take a message? Yes, please. This is Mr. Kale. Is that G-A-L-E? No, it's K-A-L-E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at 2.30. Friday at 2.30. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is 646-555-4031. 646-555-4031. Yes, Mr. Kale. I'll give Ms. Graham the message. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. Just give me a second. Oopsie. Okay. Here, right? Okay, here. Now we have the conversation here, right? So, um, I need two volunteers to read the conversation. Uh, let me see. Mirna, can you help me, Mirna? Yes, teacher. You're, you're going to be the secretary, Mirna. And Jose Magaña, please. Welcome, Jose. So, can you help me with Mr. Kale? Uh, okay. Okay, good. Now, listen. I will start making the sound of the telephone, right? Yo le voy a ayudar con el sonido del teléfono, ¿ok? Ready? Chiqui ring. Good morning, Parker Industries. Hello. May I speak to Miss Graham, please? Um, sorry, she's not in. Can I take? A uh, message? Yes, please. This is Miss Kelly. Is that G A L E? No, it is K A L I E. All right. Please tell her our meeting is on Friday at two thirty. Friday to city. And could you ask her to call me this afternoon? My number is six four six five 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 four zero three one. Six four six five 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 four zero three one. Yes. Mr. Kerr, I give me Graham the message. Graham. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you very much. I really like your participation. Very nice. Okay, now 
we are going to uh, review the video, right? The video about, can I take a message, right? Okay, pay attention, please. Continue, shall we? Now let's go over on how to take and give a phone message using the verbs tell and ask. Get your papers ready and take notes during the explanation. Page 103. Exercise 8. Grammar Focus. Messages with tell and ask. Statement. The meeting is on Friday. Messages with a statement. Please tell Anne the meeting is on Friday. Please tell Anne that the meeting is on Friday. Could you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Could you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her the meeting is on Friday? Would you tell her that the meeting is on Friday? Request. Call me this afternoon. Messages with a request. Please ask him to call me this afternoon. Could you ask him to call me this afternoon? Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? Okay. When leaving a message, we may... Just Could you just give me a second here. Notice that we have a statement. So in a statement, we have tell, 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 right? So we communicate some specific information. In this case, the meeting is on Friday. Is the information we're going to tell, right? And uh, also here, uh, we have the expressions, please, could you, and would you, right? Please is a sentence. Could you and would you are questions, right? Okay, and the structure is the person, la persona que recibe la, la información, right? A quien le vamos a decir, right? En este caso sería una tercera persona, ¿no? como que diga, mira a fulano, decirle al otro esto y lo otro, ¿ok? Y el chambre, sorry, excuse me, la información is the meeting is on Friday, right? ¿Ok? This is the information we're going to transmit. Now, in the request, You're asking the person to do something. Aquí estamos pidiéndole a alguien que haga algo. ¿Ok? Please ask him. Dile a él, pregúntale a él. Or, dile, dile a él que me llame. Aquí sí hay que hacer algo. No solo es de recibir la información, sino que hay que hacer algo. ¿Ok? And again, we use please, could you, and would you. Right? Ok, let's continue with the Ask him to call me this afternoon. Would you ask him to call me this afternoon? When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. When leaving a message, we may state the information or request something. The way to do it when we leave a message with a statement is as follows. Tell plus person plus that plus the statement. And because we want to be polite, we may add please. Could you or would you? Notice that is in brackets because it may be omitted. When leaving a message with a request, we may add please. Okay, so in this case, as you can see the formula, tell plus the person or the object, right? Of the object. It could be tell him, tell Maria, tell Juan, tell Pedro, okay? Or tell the, the salesperson, tell the Tell the doctor. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have the, the word that. Decirle que esto, esto y lo otro, okay? But that is an option. Esta es una opción. Si quieren usarlo, lo, lo usan, si no, no. And the statement is the information. Es la información que vamos a decir. Que la reunión es aquí, que, uh, que hoy llovió, que el internet se ha caído, que, uh, que ya, ya abrieron todos los restaurantes. Ok, aquí está toda la información que vamos a decir. And you can use the to uh, make the, 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 the question more polite, we use this expression. Para hacer la, como dijéramos, la, la, la petición de, de la información que le vamos a dar a otra persona más suave, más polite, we say, please, could you, and would you. Y aquí están los ejemplos, ¿verdad? Ok, now, the second part. Could right? you or would you? Because it may be omitted. Message with a request, this is how we should do it. Ask, 
plus person, plus to, plus the request. Again, we use please, could you, or would you to be polite. Ready? This is the statement. Again, we use please. Okay, so in this case, the formula is a little bit different. Look, ask plus the person or the object plus the preposition to, and then the request, la petición, right? Again, please, could you, would you? In the examples, please ask Lucia to, not that, to meet me in my office, right? Could you ask Lucia to meet me in my office? Would you ask Lucia to meet me in my office? So these are the examples, right? Eh, vamos a ver si ahora hay, hay comentarios. Ajá. Uh -huh. Solo tenemos uno, ¿verdad? Solo Felipe. Vamos a ver qué nos dice Felipe acá. Please ask my father to send me more. Oh, I like that, Felipe. Ok. Me too. Dígame que me envíe un poquito a mí también, Felipe. Ok. Could you ask her to call me tomorrow? Ok. That's ok. Those are examples of... Eh, vamos a abrirla acá. Example of eh, requests. And the other one is a statement, right? Statement. Would you tell them that the smoke cigarettes is dangerous? Okay, perfect, right? Solo que aquí había que comenzar con mayúscula, Felipe. Solo, pero es un detallito. Okay. The sentences are perfect. Congratulations. I like it. Me gusta mucho. Thank aquí, you. aquí me parece muy bien que no usó el símbolo de pregunta, sino que usó el, el, el punto, right? Very good, very good. I want more participation. Come on. We'll finish tomorrow. Apenas vamos a terminar mañana y todavía me faltan comentarios aquí. Please, help me. Okay, now let's go to the knowledge check. Uh, no, but before to go to the knowledge check, I want to share you something. Give me a second. Les quiero compartir algo. Eh, les pasé el PowerPoint eh, de la clase de ayer. Y no les, no les enseñé unas oraciones. Let me see here. Por aquí está el archivo. Ahí lo tenemos guardadito. Ok. Por aquí estamos ya. Ahora vamos a compartir. Vamos a compartir con ustedes. Give me a second. Ok. Here. Aquí estamos. Para quedar claro con esta oración. Mm -hmm. Ok. Vocabulary. Esto ya lo vimos. Aquí estamos ya. Sorry, me tomó un montón de tiempo. Messages with tell, right? Messages with tell. Tell plus the person plus that plus the statement, right? Y aquí hay algunos ejemplos. Please tell Maria. Aquí hay un error también, ve. Este sí lo cometí yo. <ríe> Esta no es pregunta, este es punto, ¿ok? Me, me ganó Felipe. ¿eh? Yo me equivoqué, Felipe. Mira, usted lo hizo mejor que yo. Ok, please tell Maria that the, that the dinner is at nine. At nine, right? So, please is to make the sentence polite, para hacer la oración suave. Ok, then, tell is the verb, right? Maria is the person. That is an option if you want, you can omit. And the dinner is at night. Ok, next one. Could you tell them that today is Monday? Would you tell my sister that the movie is good? Ok, aquí tenemos tres ejemplos. Uh, let me see. Vamos a ver quién me ayuda. Eh, vamos a comenzar con Iris. Iris, ¿podría darme otro ejemplo? Welcome, Iris, to the class. <laughs> Can you hear me? ¿Sí me puede escuchar? Yes. Yes, ok. Uh, please tell JP. And that's cooking the dinner. Ok, ok. En este caso le estamos pidiendo uh, que, que cocine. Ajá. Uh -huh. 
Pero mejor dígale que la cena es a cierta hora, mejor. Porque recuérdese ah. que con TEL no, no pedimos algo, sino que solo comunicamos algo. Solo damos una información, ¿ok? No, intentémoslo otra vez. Intentémoslo otra vez. Please tell David uh, that diner is um, at 7 p.m. Excellent. Good example, right? Excellent. I like it. I like it. <laughs> eh, le vamos a dar un punto de participación a Iris. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, eh, Jose Magaña, can you help me, Jose Magaña? Okay. Another example, please, with tell. Uh, could you tell? Could you tell him that tomorrow there are class? Okay. That tomorrow there is a class, or we have a class, right? Thank you, Jose. Thank you very much. Eh, Felipe ya me dio ejemplos en los comentarios. Vamos a ver quién me ayuda. Um, Karen, please. Me gusta mucho su fondo, Karen. Bien de... Bien progresivo. <laughs> ok. Come on. Give me one example, Karen. Um, can you tell Iris that English class is at night? Ok. Simple and good. I like it. Jose, Jose Pérez. Welcome, Jose. Yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, hoy qué le pasó, José? Usted siempre es puntual, ¿verdad? Pero uh, my PC, my PC was your PC is not working. Oh, slow. okay. Uh, yeah, don't work so well. Basically. I understand. I understand. Thank you, José, for coming. Okay, listen. But I am here. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. I know. Thank you for coming. Now, please, can you tell me an extra example, uh, José? Use Intel. Use Intel, please. Okay. When may we check? Uh, please tell Andrea that the breakfast is at 10 a.m. Perfect. Congratulations. I like it. Okay, now let's go to the second part, right? In the second part, we're going to see ask. Messages with ask, right? And the formula is ask plus the person preposition to and the request. Please ask Maria to bring a pizza. Again, but mismo error cometí aquí. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Ya me dio pena, ¿verdad? Pero este, este símbolo no va aquí. Solo es un punto. Okay, now, please, in this case, notice that we use a verb that indicates action. So, in this case, it's bring, traer, right? Bring. So, we're asking Maria to do something. Le estamos pidiendo a Maria que haga algo. In this case, bring a pizza, right? Okay. Could you ask them to complete the class? Again, we're asking, okay, to complete or to do something, okay? And would you ask my sister to buy tickets? Again, buy is an action. So we're making a request, right? To ask a person to do something. Okay, Oscar, can you help me, Oscar, with one example? Yes, teacher. Tell me, please. <clears throat> Please ask Peter to call me this afternoon. Okie dokie. Thank you. Gloria. Gloria, please give me one example, Gloria. Okay. Please ask the teacher mm -hmm. to help me with the exercise. Okay. I like your example, right? <laughs> Okay. Now, Ángel. Hello, Ángel. Give me the last example, please, Ángel. Okay. Will you ask to... Will you ask Mario to the movie is 7 o'clock? Okay. Wait, Ángel. I need you ask something. Quiero que le pida algo. Mejor pídale que lo lleve al cine. To take me to the movie. Porque estamos pidiendo que haga algo, ¿ok? De nuevo, hágalo de nuevo. Again, again, please. Do it again, Ángel. Okay. 
would you ask to the movie? Could you ask Maria? Could you could you ask? Could you ask Maria? Okay, Maria. To the movie? To take me? No. To take me. To take me. Okay. Take the movie is seven o'clock. Okay, listen, Angel, pay attention. Now, when I say the movie is at 10 o'clock, I'm just giving information. Cuando solo doy información, entonces no voy a usar ask, voy a usar tell. ¿eh? Como en los ejemplos anteriores, Ángel. Oh. Okay. Pero en este caso, es, tiene que pedirle algo a María. Así como, como Felipe, que le pidió, cien, le pidió dinero al papá, ¿verdad? <ríe> ok. Ahora usted pídale a María algo, que lo lleve al cine, que le compre, no sé, un hot dog ahí en el cine, o que, no sé, algo pídale, ¿ok? Now again, intentémoslo, yo okay. le voy a ayudar. Try, ok. Could you, could you ask María... Tú. ¿Cuál es la otra palabra? Eh, ¿Qué quiere pedirle? ¿Que le compre algo? ¿Que lo lleve al cine? Pida lo que quiera, Ángel. Buy, buy the ticket. <risa> ok, good. To buy the tickets. Excellent. To buy the ticket. Excellent. Good example. Thank you, Ángel. Thank you very much. Okay. ok, that's it, right? Now, let's go to the... Let's go to the... Uh, Me, the teacher. Platform. Ah, you, you want to... Get, okay, sorry, sorry. Give me, a, give me a second. Give me a second. Example. Okay, please. Give me one example. Could you ask... Could you ask teacher Javier to explain <laughs> the final exam at night? <laughs> yes, I will do it. I will do it. <laughs> Tomorrow. Mañana no, mañana no les tengo preparada ninguna presentación. Eh, PowerPoint, mañana solo vamos a trabajar, solo a repasar el examen, ¿verdad? Y eh, les voy a repasar unos puntos ahí solo para, para hacer los tocaditos, ¿verdad? Y luego nos vamos a dedicar solo al examen, ¿ok? Y si, si terminamos a tiempo nos ponemos a chambrear en inglés, ¿ok? Speak in English, ¿ok? <laughs> Good, now. Thank you. Let's continue, let's continue. Now, um, Por aquí nos quedamos. Here. Por acá estamos. En knowledge check, right? Good. Uh, this is the exercise everybody has trouble, right? Este es el ejercicio donde todos tuvimos problemas. Vamos a ver si hoy sí lo hacemos súper bien. Okay, number one. Number one. Oscar, please. Can you help me, Oscar? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, you dictate, please. Me dicta la oración, please. Okay. Could y vamos a ver tell... si... Okay. Could you tell... Joel. Joel. The movie... The movie... Is at seven. It's at seven. What do you yeah. say? El signo. Eh, question mark. Question, question mark. Question mark. Okay. Could you tell Joel the movie is at seven? Right. Okay. Good. Number two. Number two. Eh, Mirna, please. Number two, Mir Mirna. Not teacher. Huh? No. No, 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 le you, no lo he hecho. You're not ready. You're not ready. No. Okay. You're not ready. Okay, yes. don't worry. Uh, no. Karen, Karen, please. Okay. Me, Karen. Will you ask, will you ask Mitch to pick me up, pick me up at home around or around? Four. 
Four o'clock. Four o'clock. Okay. And question mark, right? Question mark. Okay. okay. Again, uh, would you would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around four o'clock, right? Good. Esta está difícil. Yes. Vamos a, esperemos que nos salga bien ahí. Bien. Okay, please. Next one. Who's going to help me with this? Eh, give me a second. Jose Magaña, please. Can you help me, Jose? Number three. Okay. Come please. on. Please. Yes, it's correct. Please. Sí, eso es correcto. Ahorita sí. ¿Cuál sería el verbo? Tell please. Or... Please tell. Uh -huh. Please tell Eva. Eva, right? Eva. Por culpa de ellos estamos, por culpa de ella estamos así, José. <laughs> <laughs> Se, se enganchó a nuestro pobre padre, ¿verdad? Ok, please tell Eva. The concert on Saturday is cancelled. The concert on Saturday is cancelled. Right? Y punto, yeah. ¿verdad? Period. No, mm -hmm. no copien al teacher yeah. que le puso un símbolo de pregunta. <laughs> ok, yes. Eh, I have a question. Tell me, tell me. Uh, in this case... Uh, Podría ser, please tell Eva the concert uh, is cancelled on Saturday, al revés. No, no. I suppose no. Eh, porque al final nos da la, la, la acción. O sea, dígale que esto, esto y lo otro se cayó. Dígale que esto, esto y lo otro se canceló. Dígale que esto y lo otro se pagó. Uh, that, that's the, the, the logic. Ok, pero si no, Felipe, ya vamos a ver en el, cuando le demos clic, a ver si nos salió bien. ¿Verdad? Pero el, el, la lógica nos dice que al final vamos al verbo to be y vamos a, a, a cal, calificar o, o darle un grado a las cosas que dijimos. Que en este caso el concierto cancelado el sábado, ¿ok? Ok. Pero igual, vamos okay. a tomar en cuenta su, su opinión y si nos sale mal, pues lo vamos a hacer como usted nos dice, ¿ok? Number four. Eh, José Pérez. Can you help me, José? Ok, ok, I try. O, o ya me había ayudado, uh, José. Ok, come on, let's do it, let's yeah, do it. Yeah, but the last time. Ok. Please, tell me. Tell uh, would, would you... Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for for the hockey game tonight? I don't know if it's correct. Hockey game tonight. Tonight. Okay. Eh, como usamos uh, would, entonces sería símbolo de pregunta, ¿verdad? Vamos a ver si estamos bien. Would you ask Jim to bring the tickets for the hockey game tonight? Okay. Thank you, Jose. Now, number four. <coughs> number five. Um, see, Iris. Number five, Iris. Number five. Uh, would you tell... Could you tell? And, and does the muse, muse, muse Ok, aquí no aparece that, pero vimos ayer que se puede usar, ¿verdad? Ok, mm -hmm. that the museum. Museum. Open at. Opens. At. Open at 10 o'clock. Tomorrow morning. Ten o'clock. Tomorrow 
morning. Ok, lleva así una pregunta. Sí, ¿verdad? Lleva así. Ok. Vamos a ver si lo escribimos bien. Let me check, let me check. Uh, would you tell Anne that the concert, the museum, sorry, opens at 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? Ok, thank you. And Gloria, the last one, Gloria. Can you help me, Gloria? Yes, teacher. Okay, come Sorry. on. No problem. Help me, please. Please ask Jerry to meet me at the cafeteria. Cafeteria? Ah, uh, no. Cafeteria. In front of the cafeteria. Okay. To meet me in front of the cafeteria. Cafeteria at 12. 15. right? 15. Only that? Period. Yeah, right? Period, right? Okay, vamos a ver si no me equivoqué yo ahí alguna letra. Submit. Uh, ahí hay algo malo en este. Vamos a ver, creo que yo me equivoqué. Uh, ok, the rest are correct. Solo la, la, la C, vamos a ver. Creo que... Después del punto. No lleva punto. To meet us, right? Uh, to meet to us, meet no es to meet me. Uh -huh. To meet to me. Meet. Ah, ok. Oh, sorry. No problem, no problem. No problem. Don't worry. Vamos a ver. Y no si lleva lo... punto final. To meet us. To meet us in front of the cafeteria. In front of the cafeteria. At, at 12. No lleva punto. El punto es. El punto no lo lleva. No. No. Porque no. las oraciones allí originalmente no, no termina ninguna palabra con punto. Bueno, vamos a ver si es. Ok, thank you very much. Congratulations. Yo me hubiera pasado toda la noche adivinando cuál era el error. <laughs> thank you, sí, porque yo les puse. Sí, yes. Ajá, uh -huh. yes, José. ¿Cómo, me, José? Queda la, ¿Cómo queda la. Ajá. La. One, two, three. Two. Number two. Pero, pero no me está pidiendo copia, ¿verdad? <laughs> no. I'm kidding. Estoy bromeando. Would you ask Mitch to pick me up? Uh -huh. To pick me up at, at home, home around, around, around 4 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Again, right? Would you ask Mitch to pick me up at home around 4 o'clock? Así quedaría la dos, ¿verdad? Algo complicado. También la última. <laughs> ya me había afligido que no le íbamos a resolver. Ok, so. I guess the, the topic is finally clear, right? Hoy sí creo que ya lo entendimos bien, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿O todavía hay alguna duda? ¿Quieren más ejemplos? ¿Les consigo más información? Ustedes díganme. Yes. ¿Ready? Ok. Yeah, Uh -huh. be able to get a lot of our stuff about this is right. You know what I'm saying? You mean you want more examples, Jose? More information. Too. More information. Real. Okay, we're going to do well, something. We're going to about? do something because uh, this topic is more extensive. We also have uh, the use of say. Say, tell, ask are the most common verbs to communicate or to ask something, right? Esto es lo que se llama eh, eh, comunicarle a una tercera persona eh, cierta información. Y también tenemos el uso del say, que no, no lo ha tocado, uh, este, eh, en este caso no lo hemos tocado, ¿verdad? Say, I want to say uh, to, to bring the, the book to the class, right? Eh, les voy a conseguir un poquito más de información y se los voy a subir al grupo. ¿Ok? 
con respecto a este tema, pero eh, honestamente en la plataforma está bien bonito, honestamente me gusta mucho cómo está planteado en la plataforma. Pero para expandirles más el tema, yo les consigo más información, José, ¿ok? I promise, I promise. Good. Now, let's go to the class today. And we're going to uh, read, right? Today is about reading. Reading, right? So, the topic for today is reading. Cell phone etiquette. Cell phone etiquette, right? Cell phone etiquette. Yes. The lesson objective. Uh, please, let me see. Um, Felipe, please, can you read the, the, the objective for today? This reading exercise will help, help you develop skills in summarizing. Summarizing? Summarizing. Summarizing and recognizing. Point of view. Okay. So the abilities we're going to focus is summarize, resumir, resumir algo, right? Yeah. And a point of view, un punto de vista, lo que ustedes opinan de algo. Okay, ¿qué les parece un tema, un tema aquí o un tema allá, right? Uh, eh, you know that talking about politics, religion, and sports, sometimes is, is difficult, right? But we can talk about other topics. So, let me see. Vocabulary for today. Listen. Uh, loudly, this is an L. No sé por qué no se ve bien la L. But it's loudly. Management, sign. Useful, noisy, softly, sad, move away, on, loud mouth, Behavior, while, let, a few, worse. Okay, now, please, repeat after me. Repeat after me. Loudly. Management. Manage. Management. Sign. Useful. Noisy. Softly. Ahí a José Magaña que le gusta la música, ¿verdad? Hay una canción que se llama Killing Me Softly. <laughs> ok. Now continue, please. Sad. Move away. Own. Loud mouth. Loud. Mouth. Behavior. While. Let. A few. Words. Okie dokie now. Do you have questions about the meaning of these words? Do you have questions? Yes, teacher. Okay, please tell me. Loud mouth. Loud mouth. That, that loud. Is, loud is fuerte. Mouth is boca, right? Alguien mm -hmm. que habla fuerte, un bocón. <laughs> un hablantín, <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, my my wife sometimes preach me because I, I am like a loud mouth, right? Mi, mi esposa a veces me regaña que muy fuerte les, muy fuerte les habla a sus alumnos. <laughs> Okay, so that is uh, hablar move, fuerte, Ma, move loud mouth. Away. Move away is like apartarse, hacerse un lado, right? Move away. Behavior. Move away. Behavior is uh, comportamiento. Comportamiento. Okay, behavior. We have good behavior and bad behavior. Loudly. Loud is again loud. fuerte, fuerte, fuerte. And loudly is fuertemente, loudly. Remember the suffix li, change, change an adjective into an adverb. El sufijo li 
cambia un adjetivo en un adverbio. So we say loud, loudly. Soft, softly. Suave, suavemente. ¿Ok? So loud es fuerte and loudly is fuertemente. ¿Ok? Por ahí tenemos un, un mensaje. Vamos a ver. Uh, ok. No era nada. No era nada. Ok. Continuo. Management is, eh, manage es como uh, los dueños, los que manejan algo. Manage es manejar, dominar. Gerenciar. A, a correcto. Gerenciar. The manager, por ejemplo, es el, el jefe, ¿no? Que the manager. Repre representar. Representar. Thank you. Ok, good. Any other question? Do you understand? Okay, now we're going to read. Yes? Why? Sorry? Why? No, no, I don't listen very well. While, while. While. Uh -huh, while is mientras. Mientras, while. This is the word? Own, own. Own. Eh, poseer. Poseer, right? Tener como, como posesión algo, own. Nuestro. Nuestro, yes, that's okay. My own my house. Own company. Oh, correct. My own company. That's it. My own house. My own car. <laughs> that's it, right? Okay. Any other word? No. Okay. So let's go to the to this article, right? I investigate an article about telephone etiquette. A matter of using courtesy and good manners. Cortesía y Buenos modales, right? Good manners. So, what do you do when you're using your telephone? Number one, please. Uh, let me see. Ángel. Ángel, please, can you read the first one? ¿Podría leerme la primera, Ángel? Okay, teacher. Identify yourself when making a call. Thank you very much. Identify yourself, right? So when you say, uh, hello, uh, this is Javier. I want to talk to Angel, please. So uh, identify yourself. Say your name when you're, okay? And sometimes, for example, I receive some commentaries in my telephone. And sorry, but sometimes I don't, I don't identify your name, right? Algunas veces no identifico sus nombres cuando me mandan mensajes, entonces... Eh, aquí aplica también. Please copy your name. Say, teacher, soy fulanito, ¿verdad? Eh, ¿Quiere explicarme este punto? El 3.1, el 4.1, ¿ok? Porque lo que pasa es que como en mi teléfono no están sus no, su números. Entonces, yeah. por eso es que a veces les pregunto yo, eh, perdón, ¿quién me está, uh -huh. está mandando el mensaje, ok? And the same happens when you're talking on the phone. You have to identify yourself, right? Next one, please. Uh, Felipe, can you read the next one, please? Address the caller by his name in a courteous manner. Okay, thank you very much. A courteous manner, right? Don't say, uh, mira, uh, baboso, mira... <laughs> Okay, no, you have to say the name of the person, right? Eh, disculpe, María, disculpe, eh, Patricia, okay? So, you have to, to address the person in a courteous manner, right? Okay, next mm -hmm. one, please. Eh, Gloria, please. Keep conversation brief. Okay, brief is corto, corto. Mm -hmm. No se pasen hablando por horas y horas, ¿verdad? Okay. Keep the conversation brief. A veces por, por educación lo siguen escuchando, pero a veces uno sigue hablando y hablando, ¿verdad? Ok. So, one of the good manners is to keep the conversation brief, right? Now, uh, Iris. Next one, please. Uy, repita. Never, never be impartial. Impatient. Impatient. Impatient, yes. It's Never be impatient. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Now, uh, Patricia. Careful. 
Perdón. Um, do, do not hear or choose sometime while speaking on phone. Okay, thank you. And, but I need you to read this, Patricia. Listen. Listen. Uh -huh. es, okay. Ese tocaba. <laughs> yeah, yes, no, don't worry, don't worry, come on. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. Carefully, right? Again, Listen carefully. notice the, the suffix li, right? Mm -hmm. Cuidadoso, cuidadosamente, right? Pay attention, you know? Uh -huh. Okay. Especially, eh, uh, perdón, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué me dijo? ¿Qué número de teléfono me dijo? Yo no, no le estaba prestando atención por estar viendo tele, ¿verdad? A veces estamos viendo la tele y llamando y no la escuchamos a la persona. Okay. Next one, please. Eh, Brenda, Brenda Álvarez, please. The next one is do not in do not interrupt. No interruption. Very good. Danny, Danny Sandoval, please. The next one. Do not eat or drink something while speaking on phone. Yes. Honestly, this is one of the things that I hate. Es una de las cosas que a mí me desagrada muchísimo. <laughs> like, mm, mm, here we go, yeah. ¿Qué vas a decir en la tarde? Oh, um, no. Come on, please, don't do that, right? Chew is masticar, right? <laughs> Chew, do not do that, ok. O, oh, mira, está bueno la sopa. Oh, pues sí, mira, ¿y qué hacemos mañana? Oh, ok. No, please, do not do that, right? Next one, please. Eh, Iri. Ahí. Ah, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is burp. B-U-R-P. Burp. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Now, Betty. Betty Vasquez, please. Next one, Betty. Hello. If you wish. Uh -huh, Betty. If you wish. Uh -huh. If you wish, if you wish to call the caller, uh, I'll his permission to do so. Okay, thank you. Si quieren dejar al, a la persona, mira, tengo otra llamada, mi, mi hermano me está llamando, que es urgente. Per, permitime, o permítame un, un segundo, espéreme en línea mientras contesto la otra llamada, ok. So, but if the person says, no, 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 lo siento, ahí después hablamos, ok. So, but you need to request his or her permission to do that, right? Not only, eh, ya te llamo, espérame, ahí espérame. No, no, come on, you have to say, can I? ¿Puedo contestar la llamada? Okay, so you need to request for permission, right? Okay, let me see who's next. Eh, Jose Magaña, please. Next one, please. Close. Close your, close your conversation with an appropriate salutation. Salutation, right? Good night, goodbye, etc., etc. Thank you, Jose Perez. Next one, please. Let the chair. Yes, let the caller. Uh -huh. Okay, let the caller hang up first. Okay, good. So, deje que el otro cuelgue primero, right? Yes. Okay. okay, thank you, thank you. Karen, please. Next one. In case of Mrs. Kells, return the call within a reasonable period of time. A reasonable period of time, right? Mira, hace tres días me llamaste, fíjate, ahorita te estoy regresando la llamada. Come on. No, please. No. If someone called you, you say, mira, hace cinco minutos vi que me llamaste, right? It's not true, right? Es mentira que uno no revisa su celular y no ve las llamadas perdidas. Eso es falso. <laughs> si le dicen eso es porque no le están diciendo la verdad, right? So you have to answer, return the call within a reasonable period of time, right? And to finish, eh, Mirna, please, the last one. Yes, teacher. Please. It, it sounds on call. Perdón. If yes, someone it, called you by mistake in for the career, call politely that he reached a ground number. <laughs> okay, thank you. 
y dice, hey, mira, eh, me ordenaste los tamales que te pedí. Ajá. Entonces, no sea dundo, se equivocó. No, no, please, don't say that. You have to say to the person, uh, sorry, excuse me, but you got the wrong number. This is not the licorería. No, no, this is the, this is the panadería, right? Okay, good. Now, we're going to see the video to finish the class. And we're going to learn more about how to be polite or to use etiquette when you using your telephone, right? Okay, let me see. Wait a minute. Ya nos perdimos. Mm -hmm. Ok. Este, sí. Ok, cell phone etiquette, right? Ok. Um, just give me a second. Ok, here. Um, because of the time, I will read for you, right? But let me see, este creo que no trae audio. No, 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 it's not audio, right? Okay, listen, pay attention, right? What do you do in a situation like this? You're eating dinner with friends at a nice restaurant. You're having a great time with a phone, when, sorry, when a phone rings at the table next to you. Aquí está el fulanito a la par, okay? A man takes out his phone and starts talking loudly of a problem he's having with his girlfriend. He talks for almost 10 minutes. This happens all the time on buses, in restaurants, everywhere. Many people find cell phones useful in their day-to-day -day lives. But we all uh, sat, no, sorry, but we've all sat next to someone talking too loudly on a cell phone. Okay? You may want to tell the loud mouth to end the conversation, but let the management take care of noisy customers. You can only control your own behavior. Here's a few rules. Off means off. Respect the rules of restaurants and other public places. If a sign says, turn off cell phones, don't use your phone. Keep private conversation private. Speak softly and for a short time, try to move away from other people. Lights off, phone off. Never take calls in a theater or at the movies. Pay attention. Talking on a cell phone while driving is dangerous. And watch where you're going when you're walking down the street and talking on the phone. As more people use cell phones, things are only going to get worse. So the next time you're getting ready to make a call, stop and consider the people around you. Ok, especialmente si va pasajero, ¿verdad? Y, sorry, you have to stop, right? Ok, so in this exercise, what you're going to do? You're going to, uh, por aquí tengo una chequeada, vamos a borrarla, ok. Please, you're going to check according to the information in the reading if some of these are correct or not, right? He say, check the statement the writer would probably agree with. ¿Con cuál de estas oraciones estaría uh, de acuerdo la persona que está uh, leyendo? Perdón, uh, es, que escribió el mensaje, right? Number one, you should never use a cell phone in public. Nunca hay que usar un, bajo ninguna condición, right? Never. What is your no. opinion? Oscar, what did, uh, uh, José, José Magaña, right? José José Magaña, what no, esa no es el criterio. No, right? No. Uh, you can no, use no, it. no es el criterio del, del, del que, del que okay. escribe. I agree with no, you. Porque José. se puede usar, dice, pero... Under Including. certain condition, right? Huh? Under certain uh, condition, right? Yes. Okay. There are one condition. Bajo ciertas condiciones, sí. Okay. No, 
Okay, don't know check. Number two. Con okay. Betty. Oh, ¿Quién está alegre ahí? Betty. Ponemos ahí el teléfono, las personas que usan celulares en público no, siempre no, son bien rudos, ¿verdad? No. Okay. José no. Magaña, what do you think? No. No, no siempre, ¿verdad? No. No, son people are uh, educated, son people that. are polite. Son people are polite, ¿ok? So do not check. Number three, vamos a ver quién nos ayuda con esta. Vamos a preguntarle a Gloria. Gloria, please. Turn off your cell phone yes, y someone... Turn off your cell phone if someone asks you to. ¿Qué le parece? ¿Hay que apagar el teléfono si alguien nos pide sí o no, Gloria? De acuerdo al escritor. I agree with, but... You agree, ok. The writer don't say that. Don't say that, but what do you think he would say? ¿Qué cree usted que él diría? Don't use the, your cell phone. Ok, good. Entonces le vamos a un cheque aquí, Gloria. No sé qué va a pasar ahí. Es responsabilidad suya. Si sale malo, pues yo no, no sé nada. No, no, eso es Ok, come on. Number four. You should challenge people who talk loudly on cell phones. Deberíamos retar, deberíamos decirle algo a las personas. Están hablando fuerte, sea en el bus, en, donde sea, siempre hablan fuerte. What do you think? To me, teacher. Uh, no, eh, let no. me see. Vamos a preguntarle a. Vamos a ver, Karen, please. Karen, what do you think? Chequeamos esta, Karen. What do you okay. think? No, right? No, 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 no es nuestra no. obligación, ¿no? No. Eh, créame que aquí hay unos vecinos problems, que. Problems, problems. Ponen música no. a las 3 de la mañana, pero ni modo, hay que. <ríe> It's hay que aguantarse, yeah, ¿verdad? Yeah. Porque después hay, se buscan unos problemas. Ok, so mm. don't do that. Number five, please. Si me va a ayudar Oscar. Oscar, help me. It's, it's yes, okay teacher. to talk on the phone while driving a car. Está bien hablar por teléfono cuando usted va manejando. It's not correct. No, right? Probablemente no esté de acuerdo. Él recomienda hacerse a un lado, ¿verdad? Yes. O, o en alguna emergencia, emergencia a uh, manos libres, ¿verdad? Ok. Number six. You can use a cell phone in public if you speak quietly. Quietly. Mirna, what do you think? ¿Le ponemos un cheque aquí, sí o no, Mirna? Yes, yes, yes. teacher. Yes. Queda bajo su responsabilidad, ¿ok? <laughs> yes. Ok. <laughs> Asumo. Ok. And Patricia... Don't, don't shout, show. don't, don't shout. shout, no, no grite, ¿verdad? No grite en el teléfono. Es correct. No, correct, ok. A menos que sea uno pixi, ¿verdad? marca pixi que ya no se oiga. <risa> sí. Pero sí, los teléfonos normalmente nos escucha la persona, ok. Y si les hablo muy fuerte también a veces bájenme el volumen, ¿verdad? Díganme, teacher, bájale un poquito. <risa> yes. Ok, a veces siento que hablo muy fuerte, yo también, ok. Number eight. Don't stand close to other people when you are using a cell phone. Eh, yes. Vamos a ver quién me puede ayudar con esta. Eh, Brenda, please. Brenda. Brenda, yes, usted, no, teacher. usted no estaba poniendo ranchera, ¿verdad, Brenda? No. No, no fui yo, teacher. No. <laughs> ok. Ok, check o no check, Brenda. Check. Check, ok. Very good. Now, let's see. Na, 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 na. Ok, 34 of 34, we have a 10, right? Tenemos un 10 redondo, congratulation, congratulation, that's it, right? Good, any extra question? ¿Alguna pregunta extra que tengan sobre el vocabulario? ¿Sobre el ejercicio o, u otro ejercicio? Que no. está pendiente? No. No questions. Ok. Now, let me see. Hoy sí abramos las cámaras, ¿verdad? Saludémonos. 
Okay, listen, tomorrow uh, we're going to have uh, just the test, right? Solo vamos a tener el examen. Eh, luego del examen, el tiempo libre que nos queda, voy a, a reservarles algunas presentaciones de PowerPoint, si nos alcanza el tiempo, de algunos temas que yo considero que podemos repasar. ¿Ok? Eh, si ustedes desean que veamos algún punto específico de las cinco secciones, Después de hacer el examen, me dicen, teacher, mire, fíjese que la sección tal, el punto tal, eso como que no, no mucho le entendí, o, o yo falté esa clase y, y pues no, y quiero entenderlo, ¿verdad? Entonces, pidan, ahí les voy a poner el menú, menú servido, pueden pedir lo que quieran, ¿verdad? Así es que ahí estamos a sus órdenes, ¿ok? Así que mañana no hay presentación de PowerPoint. <ríe> Solo ¿Cuándo terminamos, teacher? Tomorrow. Terminamos mañana y tienen hasta el viernes a las 12 de la noche para terminar la plataforma. Yo sé que la mayoría ya lo hizo, pero yo ahí voy a estar a sus órdenes hasta el viernes, ¿verdad? Sí. Solo, solo que, de las clases, yes. Solo okay. que, que a, las, a las 12 no me esté mandando mensaje, ¿verdad? <risa> tipo 9, sí, todavía. Porque si estamos a última hora terminando ahí, voy a ver si el tío sí. me ayuda a las once y media. <risa> no, ¿verdad? Las once y Ok, thank you very much. God bless you. Have a good night. Good night. Bye bye. God bless you. Good night, teacher.